So I'm here at SP3 with Brett in the beautiful San Jose, California. If you've seen some of the other videos we've been doing with them, you would have seen the amazing diamond cutting tools and all the crazy applications you can actually use diamonds in. And today with Brett, we're gonna dig into this little compartment behind me. So uh, yes, this is our uh, current model 675 hot filament CVD reactor that we use to create diamond films. Okay, now do you only use these internally? Do you sell these units out so there? What is we, that? So uh, we make these for external sales okay. and we'll uh, license our uh, coating technology and uh, get uh, customers set up uh, with their own coating lines if they're interested. That... In addition to running uh, these machines ourselves. Yeah, so either they can send you their things that they want coated or you can set them up in-house to do their own Absolutely. coating. Okay, so let's learn a little bit more about this. You mentioned something about a hot filament. So, so yep. what is that like? Uh, there are two main ways of making CVD diamond right now. Okay. One uses a microwave plasmas, yeah. and that's a much smaller deposition area, generally used for single crystal diamonds, like okay. gemstones. Uh, so uh, this machine has a much larger area, and it uses hot tungsten filaments. We run an electrical current through them. They heat up to over 2,000 degrees C. They gr glow red hot. Yeah. And uh, first we have to uh, evacuate all the air out of the uh, vacuum chamber. Okay. And then we backfill it with a mixture of hydrogen and methane. Oh. Okay, and so methane CH4 yeah. is the carbon source that will actually be the feedstock to form the diamond films. Okay, now we're at SP3, so it's important, I think, for the people out yes. there to not confuse this with SP2. What's the difference between those two? Okay, so when you're talking about pure carbon, yeah. you have different forms. There's graphite, like is uh, in your pencil lead, yeah. that's very different than diamond, the hardest substance around. Yeah. But even though they're both carbon, they have different molecular bonds between the carbon atoms. Uh, SP2 yeah. is uh, for graphite, and SP3 is the type of bond that is formed within diamond. And when you have something like DLC, yeah. it's somewhere on the continuum in between. So it has a lot of mixed phases, and you don't get the full benefits that you do with pure SP3 diamond. Okay, so for anyone that's watching out there, they might have tried SP2, they thought they were trying real diamond, mm -hmm. there's actually a difference. Yeah, DLC and CVD diamond are very, very different products and uh, different uh, applications okay. for the coatings. So how big are your units right now and is it limited to this size or what's... So uh, right now in this machine, we can coat substrates up to about 12 inch by 12 inch. Okay. You know, which can be hundreds of uh, tools or inserts or yeah. uh, maybe it's only one part if you've got something really big. Okay. Uh, we're also working on developing a new chamber, the 975, that will coat up to four 450 millimeter or 18 inch parts. So you're adding that's like 50% capacity? Exactly. That's amazing. All right, and uh, Arthur, we have a couple of these machines yep. in our lab running right now if you want to see what they look like when they're operating. How can I actually say no to that, Brett? Let's go mm. check it out. All right. All right. So, so Brett, man, we're back here. Uh, this is really hot, so probably, I mean, it, it's, it's... Pretty it's, warm, yes. Yeah, it, it's warm, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's better. It's not burning me, I could probably, no, that's about my limit. Um, <laughs> but what's going on inside of these chambers? I know we had a little bit of a look out there, but okay. what's going on right now? So this chamber is currently running and we are growing diamond films inside. Oh, wow. If you look inside the uh, window here, yeah. you can actually see the tungsten filaments glowing red hot. Yeah. They're over 2,000 degrees C. Oh, jeez. And that's hot enough that it actually chemically activates the hydrogen and the methane that we feed in. And oh. it cracks the molecules apart yeah. to create very reactive uh, components called radicals. Okay. And uh, so these will uh, float around inside the chamber. Yeah. And when they hit the uh, substrate, such as a cutting tool, yeah. they will stick and grow diamond Dad. and you've got carbon within the methane CH4 yeah. that's the feedstock uh, the source of the carbon that, that allows it to, to bind to the tool exactly. exactly that is 
And obviously, I mean, we, we did another video. You guys can check yep. out all the applications for diamonds. So it's not just the cutting tools going on in there. But I mean, this is an aluminum housing. How is it not melting down right now? Okay, so there's a lot of power in here, up okay. to 30 kilowatts of power yeah. going through those wires. So we have to use a lot of water cooling. All oh, okay. the aluminum chamber surfaces have water running through it to keep it from melting. Otherwise, this would just turn into a lump it, it, at these be, power levels. It'd be a very <laughs> different picture right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. <laughs> so what's going on on the backside? Is that what's going on back so, there? So uh, the backside, uh, we have a patented tensioner mechanism that actually keeps the wires taut oh. throughout the process. There's uh, some complications that go on with the wires yep. uh, that happens during the process. And so to keep the process consistent, you need to keep the wires straight. And uh, so we have a device that pulls on them. Okay. So, and obviously you've got it dialed in for your in-house operations here. Yes. If someone buys a reactor from you, you help them get this all going? Yes, absolutely. We go and okay. install it. We'll work with them to develop their application. We have an R&D team here where yep. we can uh, develop the tooling and the exact recipes, the conditions where we operate these machines to grow exactly the film of diamonds that our customer wants. That they need. So it sounds like if they have an application where it makes sense and they start that relationship, they're gonna walk away with the solution if it makes sense. Absolutely. But only if it makes sense. Yes. Perfect, awesome. Well, thank you so much, All Brett. Right. Thank you.